Hello. So, um, I'm excited for this. This is my first video of a real fire alarm system. Uh, it's my last night, uh, before I move out, uh, of, a uh, Matia Hall, this building here, and Rutgers on the Bush campus in Piscataway. Uh, it's identical to that one over there, which is a bar hall, and Allen Hall over there. And there's also Metzger Hall, which you can't see, which which is actually a mirror image. But uh, I'll, um, I'm going to explain the uh, this building's fire alarm system. And just as an overview, it's a, a four-story cinder block building, um, traditional dormitory. Uh, it's all boys, all engineering students. And, um, yeah, so... Uh, also, it, it was built in the uh, early 1980s, though it uh, obviously had some renovations since then. So the first stop is this um, horn strobe here, which this is the only spectra alert in the building. And I'm not sure you can see the label, but it's 115 candela. And what's interesting about it is that this is the only one of these four identical buildings to have a spectral alert from the outside. The others have wheel locks on the outside. I believe uh, th the same um, light uh, intensity. So we're going to go inside now. Just going to swipe my access card. Please excuse the sideways motion. Okay. Hey, this video isn't about you, okay? It is the video. And, hey, fine, you want to be in it? Sure, it'll be on YouTube, you know. Okay, so um, here we have the control panel. The main control panel, you can see my reflection, hi. It is a Simplex 4020, so it's obviously addressable. And of course everything is normal, however, the clock is not. It is not on daylight savings time. So as you can see, you have all your buttons and... Um, yeah, we got a priority two. I don't quite understand what that does. But in addition to the main panel, there's a true alert addressable controller. And if you use light, you can even shine it through the little openings and see some of the circuitry inside. Which I'll so, do the best I can. The motherboard. You can see the the NAC terminals for notification appliances. Oops. Uh, I hate it when my phone's flashlight does that. Uh, please excuse the TV in the background, by the way. Um, I understand it may be a bit distracting. So yeah, you can see a, a bunch of things. And down here we have the digital communicator, which is a silent night. Um, it says model S104 4 zone control, and it's got indicator lights. For some reason the silence and the dialer are on. That's not normal. Uh, so you can see through. There's a little hole here. There's uh, not much, no, just a bunch of wires. So that's for the control panels, and I believe there may be a repeater panel somewhere else, that's what I heard, because um, uh, when we had a safety drill, I, I noticed, like, it, this w was reset from somewhere else, but I, I have no idea where there would, the repeater panel would be, maybe in a utility closet somewhere, or it might, um, maybe outside the building, even. So, the pull stations all look like this. Dual action T-bar, I'm sure, excuse me, single action T-bars, and they're simplex, and they're almost definitely addressable. You can see these are fairly modern because it's got the simplex logo in mixed case. Um, and I don't know what this M14 here does. It's also got a back box. Um, this uh, door will also set off the alarm if you open it, so uh, the same with the doors in any of the staircases. So, now, uh, the thing is, there's um, a 
first, um, I'm going to stick with the first floor, but then I'll show you uh, the upper floors. Uh, now, there's not really much variety on the upper floors, but uh, what I thought would be interesting is if you see all the horns, well actually this is just a strobe, but it, it says SLC17, and so apparently the entire first floor is signaling line circuit 1 and 2 is for the upper floors. Here's a horn strobe, this is 111. Uh, but this, by the way, is the study lounge. Here we have a smoke detector and a sprinkler. Um, yeah, thankfully that has not gone off at any time. Also, there's the uh, the pole station that they use for safety drills and another horn strobe above it. Let's see what this one is. This is 110. Here, uh, some of the sprinkler pipes are, um, you know, clearly visible. Uh, nothing in here. So now let's head up to the second floor. Basically, we'll zigzag around alternating staircases. This is 1-8. There's another pull station. And just like I was saying, that door there, that'll set off the alarm if you go through it. So you go up to the second floor. Maybe hey, would, would you like to go first? Um. So yes, yeah, so basically the upper floors there are two pull stations per floor, obviously one for each staircase, and the the first floor has one by the exit doors as well, so there are four on the first floor. This is actually also signaling line circuit one. This is device 22, and it's a horn strobe. So yeah, sprinklers are every few feet. There are also sprinklers in each room itself, and uh, as well as smoke detectors. This strobe is 123. By the way, these are uh, the horn strobes are very loud, so it's a good thing that a lot of these are just silent strobes. Horn strobes are only uh, primarily at the ends uh, or you know the heavy areas with very heavy use. Um, they uh, they go in fast march. They they sound like eh, 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 that sound. Um, and this strobe is 124. So I guess, um, excuse me if I was incorrect uh, about the uh, the signaling line circuits. 127. There also are strobes uh, in the bathroom, but uh, I'm obviously not going to go in there. There also are extinguishers. This is 121. Uh, I'm going to... Um, uh, Cut the video now, just uh, you know, because uh, I don't want to have a really long one. So I'm just going to pick off from 